All right, let's go get introduced to our girl Jess and her comedically oversized pencil. Enemy battleships are in for repairs. Can they be sunk before it happens? Oh, I hope so. I have to be the one who does it to contain this mission or complete this mission. Why does it continue? The battleships that need repairs have all been docked. About time. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's get started. Uh, before that, don't you think we should respond to Commander Hawk's inquiry? He's been waiting. No. Ugh, that guy, what a pain. What did he want again? He was asking about the ETA on those battleship repairs. Can it be done in 30 days? Um, yeah. If by 30 you actually mean 17. B pardon? <sighs> oh, I get it. You're not used to my level of brilliance, huh? See, under my direction, those repairs will be done in just 17 days, not 30. Commander Lash! The workers! Can they really handle a pace like that? Hmm. Don't know, don't care. We'll figure it out. And if not, we'll just borrow some troops from another CO. I promise we'll send it back without a scratch. Maybe. Possibly. Probably. Anyways, 17 days is all we need. Um, okay. You got it. Now, where are those soldiers we sent to hide the lab map? Yes, indeed, this is the level that actually has the, the lab location in it. I do like the little hint that they, they give you. It's like, okay, yeah, you don't need to guess which ones uh, hold the, the lab map. However, the location of the map in this is a little out of the way. New intel. The enemy battleships have... We've been tracking, have docked for repairs, so it's time to move. Uh, are you sure about this, Jess? Pulling this off with so few troops is no easy feat. Maybe it's best to wait for Eagle to provide reinforcements. Negative. Adding more troops will just complicate things and take longer to organize. Time is of the essence here. We must attack before the repairs are done. Uh, I can't find fault in that logic, but... Uh, let's say the enemy tries to capture that airport to the top of the map, which they surely will. I could deploy battlecopters or bombers. At any rate, it's rough seas ahead. Hmm. Have a closer look, Drake. Those anti-air units of mine are ready to for whatever aircraft the enemy sends out. Now watch me shower those battleships in artillery fire. So, Jess! I, I... I honestly don't know how to feel about Jess as a CEO. Like, she wasn't really one of my favorites when it came to Green Earth in the original Advance Wars 2. I heard that the in this version, they actually fixed some of the problems people had with her. One of the which is not her theme, unfortunately. Now, I don't hate Jess's theme as much as I originally did for this version of it. It slowly started to grow on me. And the reason why I don't... I didn't like it at first was just because it felt very held back. Like, you listen to, like, the original and just, like, that sick guitar riff at the beginning, and you can just tell, like, right away the difference between it. Honestly, I like I like to call her original theme Jess's Doom theme because it just reminds me so much of, like, uh, the, the OG, like, uh, Doom uh, theme that, that plays. But we might as well go over Jess as our CO powers. Uh, the giant tank, the, the galleon tank driving CO who fought her way to the top. While her ground vehicles are mighty, she suffers outside her domain. Just as ground vehicle units gain plus 10 to firepower, but her other units suffer minus 10 to firepower. That also includes her infantry. She is only a purely uh, ground vehicle specialist, so she's sort of like Max, except for the fact that uh, indirect units are, uh, get boosted by her. And all units that are not ground are, you know, they do some damage. Just to see your power, Turbo Charge. Just as ground vehicles gain plus one to the movement range and plus 20 to firepower. All her units gain plus 10 to defense and all the fuel and ammo are replenished. Her Super CO power is Overdrive. Just as ground vehicle units gain plus two to movement range, plus 40 to firepower, and restores all the fuel and ammo uh, to her vehicles. Uh, and also gains plus 10 defense, but that's usually given throughout all COs. As we can see, not that hard to get a super seal power. It's only six bars, and it's only three for her regular seal power. Our goal here is to take out every single battleship that is in this little bay right here. We have 17 days to do so, and the location of the lab is one of these two properties. I believe it's the lower city, not the upper city. 
As we see up here, there's two infantry. One's going to make a beeline for that at the airport, and it is not impossible to stop them from taking that airport. It's always a guarantee they're going to take it. Got a couple of mini cannons. Got a good number of ground forces between us and those battleships, so it's time for us to start making some progress across here. Just one shit. Yeah, unfortunately, it's going to be going right there. So we'll put these right here just to halt them from trying to stop me from capturing that. Let's get our mediums moved up. Let's get our artillery moved up. Now, like I said, unlike uh, Max, her artillery units are not affected. So she she's good when it comes to any form of ground vehicles. She's a little bit better than Max in that, in that regards, but at the same time, it's just like... I, I think it was actually because of a coding issue with in the original Advanced Wars 2 that just actually didn't work as properly as she was supposed to. So hopefully that got fixed here. If not, then I'm going to be very upset. Okay. What? We're under attack? Now? That's not fair. We're in the middle of repairs here. Ooh, what are your orders, Commander Lash? My orders? What do you think my orders are, you twerp? Launch a counterattack. Alright, we'll need to push back the deadline on the repairs by about... <clears throat> oh no, don't you even think about it. But, but the deadline... Stop saying that! Just do as you're told now. Oh, you gotta love crunch culture. Okay. Wasn't expecting to just straight up take out my APC like that. Well, damn. Oh, guess we gotta enact some retribution upon them. before in like the advanced words one playthrough but i absolutely adored the design for the green earth uh, rocket units it's definitely the most unique looking out of all of them nice uh but what isn't nice is the status of i thought that we're not going to hit that artillery I'm not going to risk it. We'll just finish out these tanks here and now, and then we'll just slowly creep our troops up to deal with the artillery. Now, thankfully, the, the, the loss of the APC can be replenished because there is a base sitting right there next to that little group of cities. It's gonna take a good bit for us to get to it and capture it to replenish that APC that we just lost, but we can uh, replenish uh, those losses. Let's finish capturing the seaport. And let's just get the army moving up a little bit further. And now, basically, we're gonna let her units come to us and just wipe them out. Held on by a server, but man, just a unit. I don't know if it's just like there's a thing with Jess. It's probably because we're on the road, but I don't know if there's like a, a downside to Jess. Is like her units are more, her vehicles are like more glass cannons than they are actual units.
as long as I can start clearing these guys out to... Uh, get my tanks up to that artillery, we should be good. basically useless right now and in that case let's finish off you and then we'll move the anti-air vehicle up there to wipe out those mechs and then we should be good to go to make the push up to the cannons well after we clear the next line of defense we, our biggest threat right now is going to be the medium tank and the rockets that are slowly snicking away down here Well, they may be on the beach, but at least they still barely got a scratch. These guys, on the other hand, are going to be taking the beating. thing about the fact that we have this port right here is with all the properties that just starts out with in this mission you can just straight up buy a battleship right off the bat because you'll have more than enough money by the time uh, you capture it you will start hammering you guys Next up on the chopping block, we'll move you right here, and we start working on these guys. Ah, down to 1 HP. I was kind of hoping that'd be able to one-shot them. I probably would have it had they been like a knight, so I probably should have flip flopped these two tanks to different targets. Probably overkill, but at least that gets you out of the way, so now we can get you up here and deal with this artillery. And we can move our artillery into position to counter the medium tank that's going to be sneaking its way up here. And hopefully, I'm going to guess that either you're going to be going for this medium tank or you're going to try and take out this regular tank. Hopefully, we should be able to get one of our tanks over there to hit the rockets. I'm almost half tempted to use a uh, turbo drive. You're so silly. Or turbo charge, not turbo drive. I, I kind of uh, combined both of our seal powers in the one. I like it was just like getting ready to ramp up, and he was just like, I forgot about the two infantry up there. He was like, Oh crap, we forgot about them. Quick, 
restart the, the uh, drum roll. Alright, good. If you had to target someone, I'm glad you tar targeted the mediums. Crampton would be inside of those artillery vehicles because of the fact that the gun's literally right in front of the the, the gunner. Alright, unfortunately, there's not really a safe spot for me to drop you guys off. But fortunately, I can just sneak you guys up there and deal with the rockets uh, first and foremost. Get you boys up here, start capturing the space. Get you boys down here and start capturing the city. to attack them and then like combine to heal up any damage that was lost for those mediums it's definitely a lot better for me to just go that route Move up here and i want to check real quick just to see where the mini cannons target uh, ranges okay, right there and then right there Actually, no, I'll move you up into the city to heal up. I'm gonna move you up here just so you can get closer to the army. Oh, of course, you would target those guys. I mean, I guess it makes sense that the only ones they can target. And she's got her battle coppers out. Thankfully, we still got our anti-air vehicles, so we can counter them no problem. Alright, I am not letting you get away from me. over here as well. Alright, the battleship can start working on the battleships here. So the trick to this mission is we're never going to have enough di time to be able to individually destroy them one by one. So what we're instead going to do is we are going to damage them to the point that they are going to combine to fix the damage that was done. But then, that means there's one less battleship for us to deal with. And also, I'm going to drop you guys up, up here so we can go get that map piece. And you boys down here can continue capturing these properties. Yeah, 
you better run. I'm gonna bet you money that Battle Cup is gonna be making its way to my battleship. Thinks I should get a cruiser out there just as a good countermeasure. How much damage do you be doing? Only 16. Still got 11 days, so we are not strapped for time at the moment. We can't go this way. Let's get you up there. And for, oh crap! The tank's gonna be targeted. Well, in that case, since it's gonna probably go for the tank and not anything else. I don't want to use uh, overdrive just yet. I want to wait until my artillery and my rockets get close enough to the battleship so that way we can maximize the firepower. You might actually be going towards the main army. Yep, first cannon's dead. Mm, I don't want to risk my forces getting a little bit just yet. So let me see if I can actually kind of bait that battle cop to get close enough to, for my anti air to attack. In the meantime, you're going to garrison there to keep them from getting any more reinforcements. short to buy another battleship. I was about to say, she probably doesn't have the money to buy a bomber, and of course the game just had to prove me wrong.
Uh, let's get... Uh, yeah, there... Let's get anti here. I'm just gonna keep you there. Yeah, unfortunately, I knew those guys would get the rights, but hey, at least now they are all within range of the anti airs. Ooh, yeah, I forgot about that bomber. You gotta deal with him. So close. Alright, let's get you guys racing up there. Let's get you guys loaded up and up here to the base. You can get done capturing. I'm gonna get a missile truck out there just so that way we can deal with any long range uh, air units that are gonna come this way. As much as I want to deal with those battle copters, I think our biggest priority right now should be to deal with the bomber that just uh, came into view. How much damage did you do? 73. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a turbocharge and then we'll rebuild our, our anti-air power. It's nice that Reboot Camp decided to upgrade Jess's giant pencil to a giant pen. There we go. Now the bomber's not even a threat. For the time being, let's move you down here. We'll just deal with this infantry that got lost. Drop the boys off right there. Let's get 
get some rockets to help deal with the battleships. And speaking of battleships, let's get our battleship up there to help deal with these guys. Alright. Hopefully I'm actually right and this was the correct city. Commander. That was correct. Commander, we found this in the property we captured. Gotcha. It's the coordinates for a hidden lab. We've been developing weapons within our borders. I'd say, since it's in our borders, we have every right to go have a little visit and claim those weapons for ourselves. Let Eagle know what we found, soldier. He definitely won't stand for this. Yes, ma'am. Understood. Uh, These black hole goons really are trouble. I'm gonna move you up here because I don't think we have to worry about the bomber, the battlecopter going for my battleship. If anything, the battlecopter is gonna be making a beeline right for my rockets, which is unfortunate. Or oh, right, APC. Forgot that it always takes priority if it's within range. Get in my book, which, because that means that we can now. Oh, what? No. We can now deal with any more copters that come this way. Though I do need. Oh, I hate you so much. Oh, wait, no, we can go around it. Oh, wait, no, we can just shoot it down. No, we can't. within range of that cannon. But also, thankfully, I can hit the cannon. Right, down to 15 HP, so we shouldn't have to worry about it. Let's deal with you first and foremost, and then we'll start getting the artillery units in the position. Going to set you up there as bait to hopefully lure that battlecopter away from my tanks and my rockets. How many days do we still have? Ooh, six days. We are cutting it pretty close. If I can get my troops up there, then we should not have to worry about them whatsoever. Artillery just because it can move further. I knew it. Took the bait. I lost an APC, but at least now we have to deal with the fact that I'm also losing a tank. But hey. It's, it's like tanks, they're already damaged. Not that big of a loss. At least it drew the battlecopters away. And thankfully it attacked that tank and not the one that was at full health, because now I can just one-shot the same knockdown. buff that she has through naval units, they can still one-shot battlecopters. I 
absolutely despise this thing, the fact that it's rope blocking all my rockets and artillery. Scare it away. And if not, we'll just shoot it down. Alright, there we go. Had to make them a little bit weaker, but they're now starting to combine. Oh, okay, I see how it is. up there down the one and hopefully they all combine into that seven to just completely reduce their numbers in the meantime we'll get you up there and have you start capturing this just for a little extra money and let's get our battleship here and why not let's give him a black eye Get some more artillery just because there's not really an easy way for me to get more rockets over there. Might be much, but it will be something at least. Hey, not the down to five. surprised I was able to keep our recon alive with how much of a beating that thing took. I think you deserve a nice long rest. And I'll just save up to get some more rockets in that case. We really need to start reducing our numbers and fast, so me thinks it might be time for us to get an overdrive. Now that it has a defense buff. It's only one. Thankfully, it's the weaker of the two. Yeah, it's not going to do anything to it because of that defense buff. Is what I would have said. I don't think it really affects the air and naval units because they don't get any terrain bonuses outside of naval units being on reefs. So technically speaking, 
I could go do something when might be consider a little quirky. I am gonna move you over there real quick just because I want to make sure that those uh, those rockets are in position where they can hit everything. guys up a little bit more. And now just to check, we'll be able to hit that with the artillery, hit that with the rocket, and hit that one with the rocket. So yeah, we should be able to ha have this in the bag, no problem. Oh, three days to the deadline, so we are still good. Scratch the pain. Really was hoping that you would be able to combine. Oh, I can hit you. All right, I think it's time. I won't lose to you. Let's, let's use the battleships first, just so I know what I can and can't target. All right, you're down to one. You're at full health, so let's use the battleships to take care of the one that's down in the corner. And I'm barely just going to be able to finish that one off. Here, we'll finish off this battleship. Have our regular tanks finish off this battleship, hopefully. Oh yeah, it's got a hair bit of health left. It didn't stand a chance. I don't think... No, I can't. I was gonna say, I, was, I don't think that it can hit battleships because only like tank units can shoot out into naval units. Which I mean, I understand for infantry not being able to hit. I did not mean to target you, I meant to target the other battleship. I, I understand like infantry not being able to do it, but I always figured that like, maybe like anti air vehicles would be able to at least uh, be able to target them out there. Commander Lash. We have one, just one day left to finish those repairs and... Uh, yeah, 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 I'm a little busy right now. Come bug me about it later. It's just that perhaps we should rethink the deadline after all. Uh, Are you still here? You're such a pest. The job's nearly done, so finish it already. If you have time to bother me, you have time to finish. adorable, but also they sound so pathetic. Yeah. 
So, uh, hey Lash, maybe you should increase that deadline. Uh, just saying. No? Alright then. Your funeral. Well, actually, it's more of the crew on this battleship's this funeral, but still. You're the one who's gonna get chewed out by Hawk for this. Commander! The enemy battleships have all been sunk. Beautiful work. Now then, prepare to withdraw. Withdraw? Yeah. We achieved our objective, haven't we? Let's vanish before they send out more troops. Yes, ma'am. We'll begin to retreat at once. Sink and move? That's just like you, Jess. That's enough. Your son's getting caught up in the moment and sending troops out to get hurt. We've incapacitated the enemy. That's enough for today. <laughs> when you're right, you're right. I'll help you get your troops out of there. <laughs> what were you doing this whole time? We can't be fixing the battleships that are all sunk, can we? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, what should we do now? What else is there to do? We fight back with every ounce of strength we got. They've made me mad, and now they're gonna pay big time. Commander Lash. Uh, well, um, the uh, it would appear that possibly, uh, eh. What? Spit it out. The the, the enemy's gone. Uh. Huh? <laughs> I love it. Just huh? There's no sign of the enemy units. They seem to have done what they set out to do and left. Seriously? You gotta be joking. You just sank my boats and took off? That's just rude. Ugh. I am so angry. This should make things a little easier for us. Yeah, you would think. Wow. Aside from speed being a day late and the technique uh, taking a bit of a, a backseat because of the, that early blunder, it's not pretty bad. I'm surprised we got an S rank from that. <laughs>